Hi everyone, I'm Nana. In today's session, we'll understand how to create connected app, what is the business use case. And in the next session, we'll understand how do we integrate external application with Salesforce using connected app. So over there, we will make use of the REST service. We'll also test REST, REST service using Postman. This is something we're gonna discuss in the next session. So coming back to connected app, as you see on this slide, it's a framework that enables an external application to integrate with Salesforce using APIs and standard protocols such as SAML, OAuth, and OpenID Connect. So one of the common business use cases that we come across is external system would like to access Salesforce data. In that case, we make use of connected app whenever external system wanted to access Salesforce data. What we do is we create a connected app which needs to be integrated with Salesforce API using the OAuth 2 protocol. So that is the reason we have to create connected app so we can grant access uh, to Salesforce data on behalf of external application. The other business use cases, uh, if we have to configure single sign-on and if you need to integrate our service, our service provider with Salesforce, even in that case, we have to make use of connected app. So in today's session, we'll focus on how to create a connected app. And in the next session, we will see how do we integrate external service with the uh, external system with REST service. And we'll see how do we extract and uh, create accounts in Salesforce application. And then we'll also test the same thing using Postman, because in this case, we are considering the external system as Postman. OK, let's go back to our DevOps from uh, from setup, from quick find, I key in app manager. And on the top right, you see a button called as new connected app. I click on that. So I'll fill in only the required fields because uh, I don't want to, I'm not uh, worried about the other fields. So the connected app name is something I can do anything of my choice, which is something uh, I can understand for which purpose the connected app is created. Postman. Uh, um, okay, Postman connected app, connected service. Yeah, I can name it anything of my choice. Email address, I'll go with um, SLBC on stop. So I'm just uh, going with the required fields. Since I um, I would like to make use of REST service, I have to enable OAuth settings. Callback URL, I will go with my domain URL because I want. Uh, the, this URL to be redirected after successful authentication. And the next required field is the scope, define a scope. I wanted to provide full access, so I'll go with this. Uh, if you have restricted, uh, if you want to provide restricted access, then you can go with this API access. Again, based on the business use case, you have to go with the relevant uh, scope. For now, for, uh, for our demo, we'll go with full access. And this one is auto checked because I wanted to uh, I wanted to make sure that secret is required for web server flow. So there are different flows under OAuth username, password flow. Then web server flow is other flow. We'll not get it, get into that particular discussion right now. This is something we can cover in the next uh, sessions. So once I do that, what I do is I have filled in all the required fields. If you wanted to make use of custom Epix class for uh, Customizing your connected app, you can now uh, make use of that. For that purpose, we go with this particular section, con custom connected app handler. But for our demo, we don't need any of any of this DF, any of this to be filled. So I'll just click on save. So it takes some time uh, in order to get populated. That is the reason we'll get an email notification whenever it is uh, finished. Okay, that was very quick. So what happens is after clear, clicking on save, you see the consumer key is auto-populated. Consumer secret is auto-populated. So these are very important uh, of data, important uh, fields, because we will make use of this uh, in order to access the Salesforce data from Postman or from any external application. So these, this is two different values, which is very important, along with username and password. All of this four uh, important, uh, using this four field values, we will be able to access Salesforce data. 
using any external application or using Postman. So what we'll do is in the next session, we will download Postman and we will integrate Postman with Salesforce and try to access the account data using this connected app. And then we'll make use of this key, consumer key and consumer secret, right? So this is how we create a connected app. And uh, the other important aspect is I'll go back to App Manager. So we have, we understood how to create a new connected app. Now let's see how do we uh, review the existing connected app. So what is our connected app mean? Let me look for Postman. Okay. Okay. Postman connected service. So this is my connected app. So all the existing apps, you can see the app type is connected, which means this is a connected app. So if I have to view this connected app, all I have to do is click on this drop down, click on view. Or if I need to edit this, edit the name as well, I can just click on edit. For now, I'll go with view. I do not want to make any changes. I'll not click on edit. So uh, if I have to delete that, you can just go ahead and click on this delete. So you can uh, click on the delete uh, button over here. And manage is something if you wanted to manage the OAuth scopes, for example, you wanted to define OAuth policies, how do you, how do, how do you want it to enforce the IP uh, restrictions, all of these things you can do using manage option, which is again available in the connected app by just clicking on the drop down. So what I do is I just click on edit policies and if you want uh, all users to be access to all users, if you want all users to access this connected app, you can go with this. Or if you want only admin pre-approved uh, users to access this, then you can go with this second one. For now, I'll go with this because I'm okay with that. You just get a pop-up icon. User has to click on approve. That's how they get access to this connected app. And if you want to relax IP restrictions, you can just relax. Or if you wanted to Oh, you know, relax IP restrictions for activity device, or if you wanted to enforce IP restrictions, but uh, relax for refresh tokens, whatever, uh, according to the business use case, you can go with this IP relax relaxation policy, no what policy. And again, if you wanted to enable single logout, like if you log out from one particular application, even from connected app, the, the user will be logged on, you can enable this. And if you wanted to define session policies, like a uh, user needs to be logged out after 30 minutes or after 24 hours, you can go with that. Timeout value. There's also something called as immediately expire refresh token. If you wanted to immediately expire, if you, so you can go with any of this immediately expire refresh token. Um, so all of these things. Okay, I don't want to go with any other option. I'll just go with the default options for now. Yeah, let me go back to my slide. Okay, this is what we discussed. How do we manage OAuth access policies? So the intent of uh, going with that uh, OAuth policies is like, you can define which users can access a connected app, what IP restrictions to be applied to the connected app and how long a refresh token is valid for. So all of these things is something we can uh, review from the manage option available for the connected app. So that is all I have for today's session. In next session, we'll understand more about uh, how do we create a REST web service in Salesforce? How do we integrate the external application, which is nothing but Postman with Salesforce? And then we'll see how to how to view the account data, account record, or update one of the account record. So one simple integration um, integration session we'll be doing in the next uh, video. Thank you so much for all your time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.